Hi, Mike Dixon. And in this show, we're going to talk a little bit about how can we get to be more consistent. I hear all the time. I usually, again, we relatively get, I want to hit it farther, but it's usually always, I just want to be more consistent. And again, like, I'll give up distance if I can just be more consistent. All right, well, how can we do that? How can we be more consistent? Well, number one, we got to eliminate moving variables that don't need to be there, right? And I find one of the biggest ones is in our pivot. When we start talking pivot, it's our turn, whatever you want to call it, but it's how much your head is moving and when it's moving and just understanding, okay, it can move, it can, we can kind of turn it, but we don't want to have a lot of bob and we don't want to have a lot of sway with the head. So what I got here is I got a, a simple alignment stick on the ground, again, centered to my body. And what we want to understand is my hips are going to turn about roughly 45 degrees, again, Maybe some more if you don't have a lot of flexibility or less if you do have a lot of flexibility. But what's gonna happen is my shoulders are gonna turn in relationship to that. So what's gonna happen, when I go back and I turn, I'm gonna actually try to get my shoulders, again, the alignment stick is going to probably be a little bit behind the orange rod when I do it correctly, right? So it's gonna be here, pretty easy. Now ideally, when I'm going through and doing this, I'm not doing it here, right? So I'm not turning level with my shoulders. My shoulders have to kind of stay in a tilt because again, I'm talking about my T-spine of my shoulders and my hips. So you can see here, again, I'm not getting back here. And again, like our head's drifting off the ball. So to make a weight shift, I don't have to go back there. I'm creating a weight shift and I'm creating a torque. It's a kinetic chain up my leg. I can feel my leg loading when I do that. Again, you can keep a little bend. You can let your right leg straighten. I like my light, right leg to straighten a little bit. Again, lack of flexibility to let my right hip get out of the way. The whole goal in the golf swing is get the right hip out of the way. Greg Norman had believed in so much, he said it was RPV, right pocket back. He had it stamped on his driver. Right pocket back, get it out of the way. Now I have all this room to try to swing more into out, right? So again, if I, if I go through and my shoulders don't really make a good pivot, my hands aren't going to get really be deep behind me, and I'm probably going to come over the top and hit a slice. So again, really easy to work on this it, at home. Again, things you can do in the wintertime, right? When you're not able to get out and play golf, when you got 10 inches of snow on the ground in Minnesota. Going through, turning, again, I'm turning down, and I'm trying to turn center. Now, when I start to do that with a golf ball, there's some easy ways to figure out where are you going to be better at with your weight shift, okay? So again, best way to do it is you do one foot drill, and you do feet together, and you do other one foot drill. So I'm gonna start one foot with my left foot, I'm gonna put the ball right off this stick. And again, I'm gonna make like a half swing. I don't wanna make a full swing because I'm gonna fall over. But again, I wanna see what one's gonna be better for me when I start talking about my pivot Am I gonna pivot around my left hip? I'm gonna pivot around my right hip or I'm gonna pivot more centered. So here, this is gonna be where it's more around your left hip. And usually you're gonna find one, I know my front one's probably gonna be a little better. You'll find one that you make just better contact with. So I'm gonna go feet together here. Not bad. Now I'm gonna go my left foot back on my right foot. Again, like I kind of hit back behind it. And again, like to me, I know my head's probably a little bit behind, behind the golf ball there, which is gonna lead that. So number one, I wanna make sure to train my body and understand how do I make the pivot? How much of a pivot do I need to make? How am I gonna get this right hip out of the way? If I wanna swing into out, I gotta get this thing back, right? Again, if I don't turn it, if you have a lot of flexibility, you might be able to get away with it. Okay, I'm not saying they have to get it all the way back, but usually we want to get the right hip back. Again, so when I go through, left foot back. I always feel like that's my best one. Again, I, I'm more of a front post player, so I swing around my left hip. So if I go into my golf swing, I'm here. I'm definitely not drifting back. I used to drift back off the ball, and I wondered why I hit it so bad, because I'm not a front, I'm not a rear post player. Again, rear post player, you're going to probably get just a little bit more behind the golf ball. Center post player is going to turn and their head's going to stay pretty much right over the golf ball. Again, those are the swings that we really like to see, like an Adam Scott, pretty vanilla, staying really centered. 
right? Again, so I move off the ball and I thin it. So again, when we start talking about consistency of ball contact, the more my head moves, the more that I'm moving to in relationship to the golf ball. So if I want to have a consistent contact with the golf ball, I got to have better control on my head. It might take a little bit of getting used to. I love using a shadow drill. Again, if you have a mirror, a mirror's really good. You can do it at home. But again, like if you don't have a mirror on the course or whatever, you got your shadow, get the sun behind you, and just start making your swing and like watch what your head's doing when you're making your stroke. Put a golf ball down on the head of your, your shadow and see if you can make your whole swing without your head moving. It's going to probably come up after you swing. That's fine. It needs to, right? Because we got to look at the golf ball. But again, just trying to figure out how am I going to pivot? How am I going to keep my head more centered, right? So again, if you're, you hit it better up here on your left foot, the last thing you want to do is start with your head way back here because that's prepping for you to be back on your back foot. So if you don't hit it really good on the one foot drill on your right foot, you don't want your head way back there. Right? We always want to try to get it where we're more centered, again, kind of like a triangle, right? as much as we can with our body. So hopefully that helps. Again, trying to lead to better contact, better strikes, more consistency. Again, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Give me anything you guys want on your own bit of swings, something that you're struggling with. Happy to help. It's what I'm here for. Look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks again for tuning in. See you.